What's going on everybody? Welcome to Charge It Up. Today we're gonna go through the Model X issues list and we're gonna actually knock off some stuff that Tesla has fixed and then we'll see what is left over that still has to get done. Let's go. Cue the intro. guys so i just got the model x back on tuesday august 18th 2020 they had the model x in from august 10th which was the monday drove the model x over to the service center was there to drop it off there was a service advisor that was walking back and forth he was outside here and there i got there early i got there about 20 25 minutes early and i again i wasn't really in a rush or anything like that to go through the last of the list just to make sure that they have everything on there so i had, took some time spoke with him i ended up being there between an hour 15 to an hour 25 um basically because as i was waiting there i i gave him my keys i was waiting there they didn't have any loaner vehicles available so they actually they went ahead and got enterprise to come over and bring over the uh rental the rental vehicles for a while obviously the loaner vehicles for a while the car is being worked on i first asked how long they were going to have it for they said probably a couple of days maybe maybe two or three or four max maybe the service survivor was super busy there was a bunch of people already yelling at him i i come from the industry so i kind of understand it's not his fault he's not the one doing it <laughs> he's not the one that put the car together so i didn't really uh push him on that on the car rental in fact i kind of told him that if he gives me a voucher or something for uber i'll just take uber home i don't have to have a, a rental or a loaner i would have liked to have a tesla loaner but that's fine i'm working from home there's no really real place to go right now anyway and even if i needed to i've got the bike we have the other car anyway so it wasn't really a major inconvenience yeah i would have liked to have a tesla to drive around but again would i even be driving it around probably not so i was okay with that regardless he gave me a voucher for uber came home went on with my day wednesday comes and i just happened to just go into the tesla app um, and actually it's kind of cool because the tesla app tells you that the car is in service and what the estimated finish date is. So at that point, it did say, instead of Wednesday, it did say Thursday by 4 p.m. And then so I was like, all right, well, that's cool. So then I got an email um, telling me about all the stuff that was actually ordered. Um, I, again, I'm not gonna go through that entire list of how much stuff was ordered, but um, it was it was cool that you can actually get that stuff from Tesla. Tesla gets gives you that and you're like, all right, cool. Like, you know, that's being fixed, that, that being fixed. So it's actually pretty cool that they send you that, whereas obviously, other auto manufacturers don't unless you actually talk to somebody <clears throat> at least you're gonna have that so you can see what is being fixed worked on or fixed what have you and um it's actually it's actually a pretty good system i, I like that part of the tesla service all right so wednesday wednesday afternoon now um i got a text message telling me that there are some other parts that they have ordered i guess it wasn't ordered previously but um, it was due to come in either Thursday or Friday so then I could see the car being finished by Friday at 4 p.m. Friday comes around, I got a text message telling me that the parts did not show up and now the parts are due to come out on Tuesday. Monday comes around, don't really hear anything from them. Again, I know it's gonna be Tuesday. Even the app now says August 18th by 4 p.m. Tuesday comes around, I got a text message in the morning letting me know that the parts are due to arrive by afternoon. Great, let's get that on and get the car fixed and so I can come pick it up. Um, it was great. Lo and behold, uh, Tuesday afternoon, I got the message, or I think around 1230, that the car was complete and it was ready to be picked up. Yay! All right. So, again, um, I asked them for the voucher for Uber, got that at around, I think it was 4 o'clock, 4.30, I had it over to Tesla to pick up the car. Picked up the car. I'm there. Went through the actual list. Let's go through that list now. Issue number one. Front license plate was drilled into the bumper. That has been fixed. So front bumper is replaced. Now I can put the bracket on for the license plate, which I'm excited to do. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be a good video. All right, so issue number two was the wrong decor on the driver's side and on the Falcon Wing driver's side door. It was uh, carbon fiber previously. It was supposed to be the dark ash decor. Uh, that has actually been replaced. So that is now all black all the way around, which is great. All right, issue number three was the left front 
garnish around the uh, driver's side wheel, which is right over here behind me. This little black piece right here, not sure if you can see it though, but there was two scratches, one towards the front, one on the back. That has been replaced, so that is good to go as well. Issue number four, that was the paint scratch on the quarter panel right over here, right beside that camera right there, that is actually still there. Issue number five was the paint scratches on the rear bumper. Those are gone. I don't, I, I don't see any sort of scratches on the rear bumper anymore, so that is good. Issue number six was the front panel gap. Um, I think they adjusted it, to be honest. It looks a lot better now than it did before, so I think I, I can just check that one off. Issue number seven, guys, was the left and right lower panel underneath the Falcon wind doors. That was actually solved, um, I believe I put resolved in the last video. Issue number eight and nine was scratches on top of the Falcon wing door, the glass portion and the trunk glass portion on the left hand side. That was actually resolved when I put up the video last. Issue number 10 was the chrome trim right over here um, that goes across the driver's side door. It was not lining up. That actually still doesn't line up, so I don't think they even touched that, but I'm obviously gonna add that to the list of other things that need to be fixed. Issue number 11 was the door seal. There was some sort of white discoloration on the seal. Um, it's been like that since I got it. That has not been checked or even looked at, I don't believe, because it's still there. So uh, that would go on the list of things still to do. Issue number 12 was the Passenger side door had a long scratch along the edge. That is actually now gone. And there was also a scratch beside that um, on the quarter panel where the camera is. Uh, that is also gone. So they buffed that out or got rid of it somehow, but that is all gone now. So that is a check mark on that one. Issue 13 was the scratch on the quarter panel, which I, I just mentioned during issue number 12. Those two actually were buffed out or cleaned or something, but the scratch is not there anymore. Um, so that's good news. Issue number 14 was the marking on the inside of the headlight. Now the headlight's right beside me here. And I think you guys can see it from here, but there's a marking. I can see it right here. You can see it at any, every time of the day. It's right here. It's been clean. They tried to clean it. Um, the Tesla advisor tried to clean it in front of me. It just won't go away. It's actually inside. So I'm going to keep at them because I can see I can see it all the time, so I'm gonna keep out the deck sheet. I think they'll have to replace that light on that one. Issue number 15 was the trunk gap. That has been solved. They actually aligned the trunk. It looks exactly the same on both sides. I am super happy with that. Thank you for that. Check that one off and move on to the next one. Issue number 16 was the center armrest right beside the driver's side where I put you or anybody where I put my hand. Right beside the, you pull back that armrest and the cup holders there, there was a cut on the actual fabric or the material um, that would need to be replaced. That one was replaced. I don't know how they did it or what had to get replaced, but there's no more cut there. It's not like they glued it down either. It looks like a brand new piece. So that is awesome. Um, it looks freaking awesome. It looks great. It looks great. Issue number 17, the Falcon wing door. I've had issues with the Falcon wing door on the left hand side, the driver's side with it not opening all the way every time. Sometimes when I try to do videos, it opens up all the way, which is a little weird, but okay. Uh, that has now been fixed. I've been playing around with the Falcon wing door since I came home, tried it around back and forth a couple of times. Uh, right now it's actually open the low setting, which is good, but I can go onto the screen, open it all the way, save it, and then every time I try to open it, it opens up all the way, no matter what, if I'm inside or outside. So it looks like they replaced the sensor on the door. Yes, awesome, I'm super happy with that. Um, it's great progress, and I'm just happy that the Falcon Wing door works properly. Issue number 18 was the Christmas mode. I have yet to try the Christmas mode, <laughs> and only because I haven't had the chance to, but I definitely will, and I'll update in the upcoming videos. I really wanna use the Christmas mode, and I'll, I wanna do a video with the Christmas mode, because I think it's pretty freaking awesome that the car just does all these things with the doors and um, up and down and the music and everything. So I definitely want to check that out. I'll probably do that in the next couple of days or a week or so. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Smash it, smash that subscribe button. I will definitely keep the list 
and go through the list of what still needs to get done. I believe most, most of the stuff, I will actually do a mobile service for that, where they actually come to the house. I'll keep you guys posted on what gets fixed and when, and we'll go from there. Until the next one, guys, have a good one.